Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nube uh, is my name and I hope I find you all well wherever you are. Uh, I've decided that I should record this video for you to understand an issue that I've spoken about previously but which many of you are still confused about, which many of you uh, have been misled about and i hope that this is the last time that we will need to clarify this matter because people are misleading you out there people are creeping rumors that don't mean anything out there people are spreading gossip that doesn't mean anything out there and at the end of the day they leave many of you confused and this issue is an issue about the waivers that can be applied for in south africa the waivers that are available for migrants in South Africa are the waivers only meant for those that are on the Zimbabwe exemption permit are the waivers open for every migrant who wants to apply for one in South Africa what are the conditions that one can apply for a waiver these are the questions that I want to answer and more and I'm hoping that you are going to listen attentively and take this into your heart so that whoever tries to mislead you in future you get to refer but before i go ahead may i request that you subscribe to this channel you like this video and share it so the first question from those that i uh highlighted which i want to answer is are waivers only meant for those that are on the Zimbabwe exemption permit the answer to that is uh, a resounding no waivers predate the Zimbabwe exemption permit waivers were there before even the DZP was launched waivers can be applied for by any migrant who believes that they have good cause to apply for certain conditions or certain requirements or certain qualifications to be set aside as they bid to apply for a mainstream South African visa. So I'm going to go through uh, some legal advice that we got when we sought the issue on waivers so who can apply for a waiver first of all what is a waiver it is a request by someone or an applicant to the department of home affairs to leave aside or set aside some specific requirements for any type of visa so that's any type of visa not just the zep so it's for any type of visa. The waiver will allow you to apply for a, visa, for a visa without providing all the required documents, as I've always been saying. But you have to uh, bear in mind that waivers are issued in specific cases for and for specific visas only. So there has to be a reason why one applies for a waiver, and that reason must be valid. So who can apply for a waiver? Is it only Zimbabweans on the ZEP? As I have said, the answer is no. You can apply for a waiver uh, if you cannot provide a police clearance certificate. So you apply and list the regulation that regulation so and so or such and such be set aside because for reasons like these, I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, provide a police clearance certificate. If you cannot return to your country to apply for a temporary residence visa, you can apply for a waiver. Uh, when you apply uh, to reduce the required investments, uh, that is if you are applying for, for example, a business permit, then you don't meet the threshold of 5 million rents, but you have a business that you are running, which on a good cause you believe should be granted 
a, a waiver because it's contributing to the economy of South Africa, even if you don't have this 5 million rands threshold that, you, don't, that you, you should meet, you can apply for a waiver for a business permit. When you do not have the NQF qualification, that is the National Qualifications Framework level that is needed for a particular critical skills category at the time of your application. For example, let me say uh, uh, if you are a surgeon, you must have a master's degree. But you are a surgeon, you've got experience, but you don't have a master's degree. You have maybe a, an undergraduate degree. You can apply for a waiver seeking that your application, because of your experience, your, of your practical experience and the qualification that you have in that field, may the top requirement, that is the NQF requirement, be set aside and you be granted that critical skills visa even without meeting the maximum or let me say the minimum requirement. When a business applies for a blanket waiver for an identical requirement for the corporate visa, when you apply uh, to waive the Department of Labor certificate, so you know that when you apply, you must provide the Department of Labor certificate. Those who have been applying for the waiver on a ZEP platform or on a ZEP background would know that we have been wavering this requirement of a Department of Labor certificate, which should be there. So this is uh, what I thought I should uh, highlight to you. Don't be misled. Those with the ZEP, because they already have uh, sort of leniency from the government because it doesn't want to criminalize them, it doesn't want to push them out of being formal in South Africa, have, let me add, some form of leniency in that when they apply for waivers without, uh, if they don't have criminal records, it has been almost automatic that they've been getting the waivers, even those that work uh, in the gardens, those that do domestic work, they've been getting the waiver. But what I should add is that although everybody else can apply for a waiver, it doesn't mean that you'll be treated like a ZEP holder because those ones, as I have already said, they have some form of uh, leniency, they have some form of favor, they have some form of generosity from the government that they should be granted the waivers, especially because there's court cases that are running where the banning of the ZEP or the abolishment of the ZEP or the discontinuation of the ZEP has been challenged. So they've been getting these waivers. But many of them, because they didn't know what a waiver is, they didn't know what to include or what to waive, they have been found wanting when they apply for a, a a mainstream visa because they would have not wavered some of the things, especially the SACA certificate, which they should have wavered. So, but that doesn't mean that only ZEP holders can apply for a waiver. Anybody in South Africa or anybody who seeks to come to South Africa to apply for a certain permit can apply for a waiver depending on whether they have what they believe to be reasonable ground for certain requirements to be set aside. You will remember that there was confusion at some point earlier this year when certain people told you that the application for waivers has closed. They said it, they, they had closed uh, on the 30th of June. And then I came again and I made another broadcast and told you that no, this does not apply to those with the ZEP. And when the minister extended the deadline from 30 June to 31 December of waiver applications that had not yet been processed, I came again and stated that these are for waivers that have nothing to do with the ZEP. So that is because there are people who have been applying for waivers even without the ZEP. It doesn't matter whether you're from Malawi, from Tanzania, from Pakistan, from Zimbabwe, even without the ZEP, you are allowed to apply for a waiver. But just know that nothing is guaranteed. It's just as good as someone saying to you, that if you're not on the ZEP, you cannot apply for any permit in South Africa. That is a lie. 
anybody can apply for a permit in South Africa for as long as they meet the requirements that are listed there. So I hope I have addressed this once and for all. Don't be misled. And in some of these cases, it's very easy. You go to the Home Affairs website and look these things up or you can Google them, research on the internet or you talk to migration uh, lawyers or firms they will explain this some of them already have it on their websites so don't be misled don't be led into panic if you believe that you can take your chance apply for a waiver it's not guaranteed that you're gonna get it but you are allowed to apply for it regardless of who you are or where you are from thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it